Oh, I don't even care about that one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Gustav Kayabut. But uh, this is one of my favorite painters. Oh, it doesn't have too much of the varnish. It seems a little bit more no, dry. No, than... no, no. So, so, so this is actually an interesting point. Camille Pizarro actually had a lot of problems with museum curators because they would insist on in varnishing his painting to conserve it. And then he'd be like, no, you cannot varnish these paintings. They're supposed to have a matte finish. Hmm. So that's something that, you're, that we're starting to see as we progress from the 1600s. These are paintings that would be a lot more matte. And now this is what really, that magic of turning a blob into something, which is what painting is about, really gets into its full measurement. Look at this, as we can see a crowd, a crowd on a cloudy day in front of a ship, harbor of Dieppe, or Dieppe, I don't know how to pronounce it. As we go in, look really at what each person is. Like for example, zoom in on these three ladies. It's so funny how I assume that they're ladies even though there's nothing like... That's just a great mix. Well, the first one looks like a lady. Like, look at that mix, right? Like, that's just... That's, so that is... This is how genius... So this is to be inches. Oh, sorry. Thanks. Thanks. So this is 12, this is 18. Um, and there were a bunch of students that were like two inches. Um, <laughs> so, if you actually look at this, 18 inches. Just go on, dude. <laughs> Come on. Look, sorry for that interruption, but we are sometimes just don't have it the respect for other figures. So, what I was trying to get at before that completely unnecessary interruption was, let's go back to the lady. 18 inches. That one stroke right here, that one stroke right there, that's one stroke in which he incorporated light purple and red, or some sort of red. And in one stroke, he did that deliberately, so that in one stroke he could do the whole kind of like uh, torso of that woman. He's 